In recent years, we have been experiencing uh, increasingly often cases of extreme weather. Very hot, very cold, severe drought, flooding. Actually, last July, Korea was hit by three typhoons at the same time. And if you were in Hawaii last week, you were in trouble because Category 4 hurricanes, three of them were hitting you. One of the main causes of such climate change is our heavy dependence on fossil resources, fossil oil, natural gas, and coal. To produce all these energy we use, and also chemicals and materials like plastics we need for everyday articles. Can we do something about this to prevent or at least slow down the climate change? Where we can use sustainable resource instead of fossil resource, that's biomass, and use microorganisms to convert them into chemicals and fuels. Ultimately, in the future, we may not rely on biomass. We can directly use carbon dioxide and water to produce these chemicals and materials we use every day. Always there is an issue of food versus fuel when we are talking about biomass. However, if you do the mass balance, annually 170 billion tons of biomass is generated, while human beings use less than 7 billion tons. So it's not the uh, availability of biomass, rather it is efficiency of bioprocess for the production of such chemicals and materials, and can we deliver economically. When you isolate microorganisms from here and there in the nature, the efficiency of producing such chemicals is very low. That's where metabolic engineering comes into play, where you deliberately and purposely modify cellular metabolic and gene regulatory network to drive the metabolic flux towards the product of interest so you can significantly increase the title of the product. You are not restricted to producing only natural chemicals. For example, in my lab, we have engineered E. coli so that they can produce gasoline directly from biomass. How we do that? Well, you can introduce new enzymes that nature didn't give you, but you can set up new pathways for the synthesis of such chemicals. In more detail, if you look at the metabolic pathways, cells need to synthesize membranes for survival. However, we tweaked around the metabolic pathway so that they now make much shorter chain fatty acids, and then we introduced four-step synthetic artificial pathway that convert the fatty acid to gasoline mixture instead of their own product fatty acids. Beyond the fuels or energy, we need a lot of uh, products such as plastics. They are light, durable, easy to make articles, but can we really make all these petrol industry driven plastics out of biomass through <coughs> biotechnology? Can we really do that? Well, if you look at the portfolio of products we use, petrochemical industry has been successfully producing polyesters, polyurethanes, polyamides. All these things are needed for different applications. However, microorganisms cannot make them, at least for now. But if you look at the color of the outer circle polymers, they match the color of the monomers inside. So if we can make these monomers, we can make these polymers as well from biobased rock. You are looking at the transmission electron micrograph of E. coli cells accumulating tons of plastics. These are polyesters. We can tweak around also to make polylactic acid, which probably some of you already know, by synthetic pathways. However, we are not restricted to these polyesters. We need to make such as engineering plastics. But cells cannot make them. But we need to make much lightweight cars for electric car use and also to save fuels. But how do we make these engineering plastics if nature didn't give you the metabolic pathways? Well, as I briefly already noted, you can make these monomers. For example, for the make of polyamides, you need dicarboxylic acid and diamines. Cells can be engineered to produce these two monomers by fermentation from renewable biomass, and then you can use existing chemical process for the synthesis of beautiful, beautiful engineering plastics. Now you're looking at the cells we engineered in my lab. The uh, left side is the succinic acid. Now we engineered the, uh, the bacterium isolated from the rumen of Korean cow, and then it produces succinic acid much cheaper than petrochemical industry. On the right side, we have demonstrated production of non-natural diamine, that's three carbon diamine, and then by merging these two, you can generate engineering plastics. Now, going back to the climate change issue, even Pope Francesco of Roman Catholic Church said, we need to do it now to address climate change issues. Can we really do it? I hope I persuaded you that we have a portfolio of technology that can be employed to produce chemicals, materials, and fuels. 
Are they really economical? Can we really produce all these diverse portfolio of chemicals? Can we really uh, utilize these biomass enough without uh, uh, affecting food prices? Thank you very much.